this project was very exciting to see. Because not only are you implementing one plan, you're implementing two. Your Eastern Pocket Park's vision plan, but also your West Ward neighborhood plan. So we commend you for doing that because they are very recent plans. And Laura is here as your landscape architect. She is the one that actually did the concept designs for you. Right. Impressive. I was telling her how impressive those were because in my presentation that I make, I develop fact sheets as part of our recommendation process for these grants. So I was able to include those concepts. And then in my presentation to county council and administration, I have them as before and after. And it's really remarkable to see. Um, this was actually one of the parks that we featured right. in that presentation. And one of the reasons why is because of your vision and your community-driven plan from the West Word Ward, you heard from your neighbors. You heard from the community of what they needed. And the feedback that you put into your application was safe parks, green space within an urban environment, and really by the plans that you showcased, you are going to be doing that. Here at this location at Jackson Street Park, you're going to have a swing set up here, improvements to this already um, really bright and, and character, characterful uh, pavilion. You're going to have some lighting there for safety purposes. There is, which I thought was the coolest thing, a, a hill slide that was built into the design. That is neat. And then native plantings all throughout to enhance and transform this site. So not only are you adding recreational improvements, you're adding park safety, you're adding a safe place for the children to come to so they can walk here, in addition to some native plantings. So it can be an education process for the community and for residents. Native plants, you don't need an acre of land. You only need a small plot. You need a small little area. And we commend you for that visioning process. So with this, you're going to be with our grant award you're going to be transforming four of your pocket parks within the city of Easton as your initial phase. So we commend you for doing that. And we're awarding you the $50,000 to be matched by the $50,000 from the Northampton County Local Landscapes Grant Program. So we've been going all over the county recently uh, with the big check, uh, supporting open space and parks programs. One of the reasons we've been doing this is our citizens are really worried about warehouse proliferation and we're trying to show them that we still have open space in Northampton County and that we're willing to invest in the improvement of that open space so that folks can enjoy it. That, so the, the vision isn't a, a dystopian one where you're rollerblading by a warehouse on one of our trails. Um, we're really trying uh, to uh, push back on warehouse proliferation, but we also realize that our cities have wonderful parks and we understand and we, Sherry immediately grabbed onto the vision of this particular program. And one of the things I think um, Easton needs to know is there will be another million dollars in the Livable Landscapes program again next year. And that as you look uh, to plan your future and improving your open spaces in the city, we're here for you, Mayor. Uh, we are here for you and uh, will continue to be as long as we're here. That's right. Well, we think it's great. Um, these are the guys that make it happen. Uh, they'll be maintaining this park because right now it's it's, it's not used as heavily as it should be. Um, green spaces are really important in our densely populated areas and neighborhoods like, like the West Ward. Um, our bigger parks are used for organized sports, but these are the parks that you bring your kid to. You know, you walk, your stroll, maybe um, not curb your dog properly, but those are the things that you need to do uh, when you have a, a green space like this. This used to be a tax ratable, so it's, a, it's an important um, contribution the city makes. There used to be two houses on there, two for half a double two doubles. So um, for whatever reason, blight or fire, we have these pocket parks throughout the city. And sometimes I think we should just build on them. And other times I realize that people need green space. And when in 2008, when we took office, we created the open space recreation fund in the city, which is funded by all the new developments in town. And the developments are usually put back in the neighborhood, not into the downtown. So, um, but it's not, a, it's not a lot. So this is really helpful to us. But our other $50,000, we do have access to other areas. And then ultimately, the big plan will be what we do for construction will be a lot. But these guys will maintain it, and they're doing a great job with our parks. Uh, and we're real happy about the open space we have.